Hello everyone, this is Yong Chen speaking. Here is my OWIC design research presentation. I'm going to show you guys every step of my work. First, about the introduction, I have to find the definition of OWIC because unfortunately, I missed my OWIC. OWIC is a week-long program of events and activities designed to welcome new students to the university and help them become familiar with the campus, resources, and the community. It is usually held the week before term starts. During all week, universities typically organize a series of events such as campus visit, social events, academic seminars, and information sessions to help new students feel comfortable in their new academic environment. Then I came to the problem step. I find out some problems still exist. First, time limit. A week usually lasts only one week or even less than a week, which may be a short time for freshmen to fully adapt to college life and familiar with all available resources and service services. Two, information overload. There may be a lot of information to be absorbed during a week, which may be overwhelming for some students where there are so many events and activities to choose from. It can be difficult for some students to decide which activity to attend, and with so much information presented during a week, it can be easy for students to forget information details about college policies, procedures, and resources, and so on. And three, lack of inclusiveness. Awake events and activities may not always include all students, especially those from other cultural environments. This will make some students feel excluded or uncomfortable. And social pressure. Awake oh, usually have many social events and activities which will bring pressure on students to make friends and socialize. Not everyone likes to socialize and not everyone is outgoing, which can be unfair to some students who may be shy or introverted. And about the stakeholders, obviously. First is UNSW. The university administration is responsible for organizing and overseeing the planning of a week. They may provide funding staff resources and a lot of kind of support to ensure that a week runs smoothly. Second is student society and clubs. Student society and clubs play an important role in a week by organizing events, activities and information sessions for new students. These organizations can also provide support to students throughout their whole university years. And we're going to orientation leader and the volunteers. They are also stakeholders. They are usually current students who help promote week activities and events. They can provide new students with guidance, support and information and help them learn about the university. About users is much more simple. The main user of UNSW week are new students studying their university studies. OIC is designed to help them and to fit in the university to know all the resources and the community and help them adjust college life. Then I'm going to talk about the two, going to talk about the one personas. The first is Grandy Chen, 22 years old boy who is a new student in USW study for the postgraduate degree in design and preparing to stay in Australia after graduation. Grandy arrived in Australia alone for China, from China a week before a week, and he is so desperate to make friends in this whole new brand area. <clears throat> he likes to keep himself busy and willing to try new stuff in almost every area. Before a week start, he already got a barista job in Sydney. Let's talk about his needs. He wants to get as high a score as possible during the time in USW and participate in more activities that will benefit his future work. And he's very interested in making friends and he's also good at socializing. 
So he wants to participate in as many club activities as possible. And he wants to become rich by studying at USW. About the pain points, he thinks a week is too short to meet his needs. And not everyone is willing to communicate with him. And sometimes he feels rejected and his speaking is not very good. So when he can't always express clearly, he is easily to be disliked. Moving to the research, I use two methods to help me to gain data. First is interview. Interview design is an indispensable process for planning and organizing interviews. The purpose of to collect relevant and useful information from participants. The design of interview is very important because it will affect quality and accuracy of the collect data and can convey information to the design designer very intuitively, as well as the overall success of the research project. The first strength of the interview is able to learn about students' experience. Using interview can help researchers better understand the students' experience in a week. Researchers can ask students about their thoughts and feelings about events and activities as well as the difficulties they encountered during the period, so as to obtain more direct feedback. Second, it can examine outcomes. Interviews can be used to examine the impact of a week's on students' outcomes, such as social relationship, academic performance, and mental health. Researchers can ask students who participate in a week and those who did not, and ask them how a week affects their overall experience at college, and use this information to make recommendations for the future a week settings. And about shortcoming of interview, the first is social expectation bias. Inevitably, you participants may tend to show their positive side or provide the answer they guess the interviewer wants to hear. This may lead to the deviation of social expectations, thus not telling the truth and affecting the accuracy of the collected data. The second is limited sample size. Interviews may be time-consuming and labor-intensive, which may limit the sample size of the study. It means that data collected may not be represented. And third is interpretation bias. Interpretation of interview data is most subjective because researchers may make different interpretations and answer based on their own bias and assumptions. Another method is content analyze. Content analyze can provide valuable insight into the messages, themes, and values conveyed during this time, as well as how students engage with this message. The first strength of content analyze is flexible. This flexible method can be applied to a wide range of communication materials, including text, audios, and visual media. This enables researchers to analyze various sources and explore multi multiple research issues. For example, many real ideas will be shared on social media rather than in the interviews. And second, the next strength is time saving. Content analyze time saving data analyze method, especially when data has been collected and recorded. Researchers can analyze large amount of data quickly and efficiently, which is very useful for large scale research. Also, it has shortcoming. First and the uh, first and the only I found is communication limited to record. Con Content analyze is limited to analyze of record communication, such as speeches and social media posts. This may not capture all the message in the interactions and occur during a week, such as inform informal dialogue or nonverbal communication between students. As a conclusion, in general, my conclusion is that the most urgent problem for a week is to understand the need 
of different students for a week, and then provide various help. OVIC is still a great activity. It does provide opportunities for new students to integrate more quickly and also lays a foundation for their future study. It's not perfect, but uh, it is effective in some aspect. Thanks for your time. Bye.